we're here today at the Maui Horse Center. It's November 2009 and we've administered a new wet blade demonstration. This time our weed target is fireweed, Senecio madagascarensis. As you can see with a nice mow, how we were able to take out the fireweed, but we know that's not good enough for being able to control this invasive weed. And so today we looked at the wet blade with three different chemicals. And all these chemicals I know to work pretty well as a foliar application, but I wanted to see how they work as a wet blade. So today we looked at 2,4-D um, Escort, which is the metsulfuron, and then finally Milestone, the amino pyrolid. And they were all pl applied at the same concentrations that I would apply as a foliar, but in this case with the wet blade, our total volume applications averaged out to three gallons per acre. Fireweed as an individual is not a very imposing plant, but if we look at the base of this stump, look how thick it is. Also notice, look around the plant, how it is very competitive against these grasses. With a mowing application, we obviously open up the canopy and expose the grasses to light. Notice a lot of the bare spots. Hopefully the grasses will recover due to this mowing, but we know that these stumps will often regenerate from this mechanical operation. Notice the blue on the fresh cut surface where the wet blade has administered the herbicide dose. It's our hope with the wet blade that the herbicide applied to the fresh cut surface will be lethal to the fireweed, thus not allowing it to recover and allowing the other grasses to re-establish and assume dominance in the pasture. So on a day like today, the wind's pretty strong. It'd be very difficult to make a herbicide application under these conditions using a boom sprayer. Thus, the wet blade allows for opportunities to even apply herbicides on a day like today.